is basically the series where I'm going to tell you about how I was raped, robbed, how God showed up for me, deliverance. I'm also going to tell you about how I came to love art, how I got through to college without a loan, how I thought I found my soulmate. I have a lot of testimonies and as I said, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So stay tuned guys. I am, I am going to talk about my testimonies guys so it's been long overdue for persons who join my channel to hear my testimonies here you go now these videos that i'm going to upload is going to be mostly for teenage girls young women unmarried women and i believe that teenage boys can also learn a thing or two from the testimonies so you can still stick around and watch and remember guys i'm still posting the art videos and stuff like that so if you don't want to watch this testimony series you can always head on over to the art videos i realize that i have a lot of subscribers coming in and probably they would not know much about me so i'm going to start from the top now because i'm going to start from the top it will allow you to understand certain things that i say in my testimony so just bear in mind so let's start from the top guys getting a bit dark so let's get a bit comfortable now enough twanging let's get down into the nitty gritty of the part one thing and thing and thing and thing all right so i must start off by telling you why my channel's name is artwork fly all right i basically grew up with my grandmother my grandmother is basically the one who raised me my grandmother on my father's side my mother i would go and visit her during the christmas time during the christmas period summertime easter time anytime we get like a break and stuff i would go and look for my mother but as i grew older i started not want to go down by my mother because i'm not sure why i think probably it wasn't as fun anymore but I basically grew up in two different communities. Alright, so on my grandmother's side by my father, it was basically learning and going to school and ensuring that I go to church, get the best of education, get the best of Jesus instilled. Um, but on my mother's side, I felt that it was more fun, it was more of a playtime because I would go down to the beach with my grandfather, my mother's father. We'd go down by the beach and we'd play and stuff like that. So my cousin, I have a lot of cousins and then the neighbors were so close by, it was like an open yard, they could readily walk in, friends and family could readily walk in and come and have fun and stuff like that. So we would pick mangoes, go to the beach, go to the river, go to catch crayfish and stuff like that. What else? We'll just walk around the different neighborhoods, different family houses and friends' houses, eat food, one, two, three, four, five different places, three different places. Sometimes different fruit trees everywhere. We could go and pick mango, plum, apple, um, guinea. On my grandmother's side, it was always about education and stuff like that. I would not, when I was with my grandmother, I did not go out a lot. I was not an outy, outy person. I was just by myself watching TV and that's it. Because I enjoyed the television. I love to watch Timon and Timbo, when, Timon and Timbo, Timon and Timbo, Timon and Timbo, <laughs> when I was growing up. Um, so I would not go much places except for church choir practice dance practice i was also on um on the dance group in the dance group but i wasn't a good dancer i didn't like dancing i don't know why um i would go to camp camp days guys stay tuned for that testimony also and bear in mind it was also uh, it was hard on my grandmother but we made it through stay tuned for the different testimonies coming in all right just get to know me a bit better all right so now by my mother's side, yes, I would go to church on Sundays whenever I visit her, but it wasn't much of an impact, but we went to church, all right? 
Whenever I got the chance to be alone, I would run down butterflies, search for um, chicken eggs, hen eggs. So there was a lot of lay a fowl all about the community so i would go around in my little surrounding and find a lot of um eggs and then come back and ask my cousin to boil for me i would also like to catch bugs ladybugs some other kind of red bugs i don't know what the name of those bugs were i would also catch grass up her by, by my when i was by my mother's side i would also catch moth at night i couldn't I couldn't wait for night time so the moth would come on the veranda and I would catch the moth. I wouldn't I don't remember what I usually do with them, I just catch them. I remember one time when I catched a lightning bug, I popped off his head and saved his body and hopefully the body would light up by itself and I showed my cousin and I asked my cousin why is this lightning lightning bug not lighting up <laughs> and she said you pop off the head it's not going to light it up the head <laughs> so I was so sad about that so to so make this video short because it's going to be a long series you would have to stay tuned so basically artwork fly got its name by my love for flying things and art all right so my favorite insect is butterfly as i mentioned i usually catch butterflies also and watch the and look at the thing um if you catch butterflies is like the color of their wings would come on your finger i would just rub it together i don't know why i do that i was just a kid guys i don't know why i would do that but i would catch butterflies so as i grew up i realized that I was really fascinated with butterflies and stuff like that. I was also fascinated with ladybugs. I was also fascinated with things that fly because I fell in love with um, flying fish one of the time. It was so fascinating that a fish would fly. So I realized that, wait, I love things that fly and I love um, fishes. Eventually, the word artwork fly got its name by my love for flying things now as an adult you now get me to catch one grasshopper no 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 <laughs> you now catch me to catch ladybugs butterfly mm -mm, mm -mm. anything to do with insect mm -mm, mm -mm. and by the way i missed out this part i usually step on lizard's tail and just watch it wiggle i'm not scared of lizard either i would i wouldn't catch them in my hand but i would just step on their tail and watch it wiggle around so yes guys this is the start of a new series now that you have gotten a bit more background on my life just stay tuned for the rest of the series guys that is basically it this is just the starting of the series now that you have gotten to know me a little bit better if you want to know more you have to type in the comment section below all right so this is basically the series where i'm going to tell you about how i was raped robbed how god showed up for me deliverance I'm also going to tell you about how I came to love art, how I got through to college without a loan, how I thought I found my soulmate. I have a lot of testimonies and as I said, be overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So stay tuned guys and I will see you in the next one.